Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T. Today we are back, not necessarily with a reaction how we normally do. Normally we react to the to the highlights and stuff like that. Um, but the NFL, I don't know what they they hold copyright stuff as far as YouTube go be in the way, bro. I just I did a reaction to the game last week versus the the Falcons. I had to cover up damn near the entire highlights. Like, y'all couldn't even see the highlights, you feel me? It was like a damn white screen over it. Get up. Bro, what do y'all think? Should should a Julio Jones get up out of Atlanta? And I'm like, this is pointless. I might as well just come, like, watch the entire game, and I'll come with a little reaction or review just to my thoughts on what I saw, you feel me? So that's how I think that's how we're going to do it the, the rest of the season, unless it's the, like, Super Bowl or something. Then we might come with the actual highlight reactions, but – Dealing with the copyright stuff, that must be in the way, bro. So, either way, Saints played the Eagles today. We dropped, bro. We only lost by three, but this game was out of hand early. You feel me? The first half, we didn't even score. 17 to zero, my guy. Oh, and for the one, I probably ain't going to add no edits, no nothing like that. This will just be a video straight out of the, the camera up on YouTube. So, y'all ain't going to really see an intro, outro, nothing like that. Um, but either way, Brad, we lost 21 to 24, 17 to zero in the first half. This was Jalen Hurts' first start at quarterback for the Eagles. I believe they benched Carson Wentz last week. Um, now I'll be honest with y'all, bro. Y'all let me know what what y'all think about all the stuff I'm gonna be talking about in this. Y'all let me know in the comments. But our defense in the first half, to me, looked like how they did the first five weeks of the season. You feel me? Like how we were getting ran through, like making any passes, people converting third down after third down. Like that was happening in those first like five to maybe six games of the season. Even though we still won, I think, three of, the, three of those five or six or four of those five or six, um, it still didn't – it just didn't feel right defensively, you feel me? It felt like we was getting shredded and we was basically going to have to outscore everybody we had played. And then something just clicked and damn defense started going crazy, you feel me? And they actually said we came into this game ranked number one in overall defense. And, I mean, not like the, the, the Eagles came out there and just went crazy, but they did for that first half. Like I said, we couldn't get nothing going offensively first half. But defensively, in that first half, it gave me a feel of how we played the first five to six weeks, bro. It was not good. You feel me? Um, offensively, Taysom Hill definitely was missing a lot of, even on those, and I've been mentioning this in our reaction to the highlights that we've done over the past couple weeks since he's been starting. I'm like, bro, Taysom, like he, even when he makes those like passes or the receiver happens to still catch it, it's like it was still a little bit behind where you could have led him and he could have got a touchdown or he could have had 10 more yards. But it's like he got a stop. And, yeah, he still caught it. But, you know what I'm saying, that's not, like it's a decent throw, but you can lead that to him without him having to stop and, and had to wait for it and all that. You feel me? He had a couple of those today, matter of fact. Like, um, it was one he threw, I think it was to Smith. I think, is it Traquan Smith, number number 10? He had threw it to him, and he literally had the entire field open. And, and I think this was for the for the touchdown in the second half um, that, that ended up giving us 7, 14, I think it was. So he throws it to him, but he, he had the entire end zone where he could have led him to it, but he had to stop for it, and the defender made it to him. So if the defender knocks that out that's a touchdown wiped away my guy because you didn't lead him you know what i'm saying to the actual pad like he had to stop for it and grab it it was still a touchdown so it's like i feel like you don't really decipher it too much past that because he still scored you feel me but some of those throws like that is like bruh and he had a whole bunch of missed targets in this game as well, where it was people that was open. But he's either overthrowing it, underthrowing it a little bit, a little bit too much to the left or right. Uh, I don't know, bro. I don't know. But I, I do believe we're supposed to get Drew Brees back next week at Kansas City. That's going to be a tough one. Our defense, we're going to need it, bro. 
we most definitely gonna need it for uh for Kansas City because we know how they can go crazy. You feel me? But the, one of my main things this game was Jalen Hurts rushing the ball like he was, and that's that's one of the main things is we didn't really have tape on Jalen Hurts to be able to say okay th these are some of his tendencies. Okay, we gotta kind of contain him here, not just let him. Cause he, this is his first game starting. You feel me? Like I, I think he played a couple snaps in the game last week, and then a couple throughout the course of the year. But I don't think it's enough for a team to have a full game plan on him. You feel me? I mean, of course you know he's gonna run it somewhat, but I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. He was the, he was getting a lot a lot of rushes. A lot. They got too many third down conversions, bro. That mess was in the way. Like third down at third and six, third and two. Third and eight, can they just convert and convert? And they kept going for it on fourth down, kept getting. It. I'm like, bro, what? Like, can we get a stop? That like literally, our defense reminded me of how we played the first five weeks of the season, bro. It was horrible. At least for that first half, and even for some of the second half. But we had a couple of drives where we held it down defensively. But to me, it was always that like feeling like, oh man, are they about to get us up? You feel me? But Jalen Hurts, he definitely did his thing, like with the scrambling and all that. Like he was, he mo he he most definitely did his thing. I gotta I gotta give him credit for that. Um, now, what I'm a little confused about is the rankings or the the like standings for the NFC. They were just talking about it and said that. Um. They what did they say? Hold on. They said us losing today made us number two in the NFC under Green Bay. I didn't really understand that, though, because earlier in the season, we had the same record as Green Bay. Or This is probably like three weeks back, two or three weeks back. We had just beat the Buccaneers, and then we beat somebody else. And we had the same record as Green Bay, but we were still number one. I didn't understand that because I was, I mean, at the time, I was like, okay, well, we lost to Green Bay, but then Green Bay lost to Tampa Bay. So I'm like, was it because we beat Tampa Bay? Is that why we in first place? I'm not sure, but now they're saying us losing today, which made us 10 and three, and the Packers won today, they're 10 and three, somehow they're ahead of us. I don't really understand that. Because like I said, earlier in the season, we had the same record as them, but we were ahead of them after they had lost to Tampa Bay. I don't really, So I don't really get it, but either way, it says they're in their... Yeah, they got the number one spot right now. So we got Kansas City next week, which could very well be a loss unless we come out like could, that's Kansas City now. Come on now. You feel me? We're going to have to come out with our A game, my guy. So we got Kansas City, the Vikings, then the Panthers. Who else does the Packers play? They got the Lions, the Panthers, Titans, and the Bears. How they got... This don't even make sense. How they got four more games? Hold on. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. So they, they already beat the Lions today. So they just got the Panthers, Titans, and Bears. So they could very well win out. The Titans, I feel like, might be their hardest task. Maybe the Panthers, but probably the Titans. But either way, bro, I'm definitely ready to get Drew, Drew Brees back. Um, Taysom Hill, like he's he he most definitely held it down for us. Like he went what three and one, so that ain't bad at all. But like I said, it was always some of those small things he can still tweak, like making sure you hit hit the target, hit him on time. Because there was somewhere, you know, what I'm saying the receiver running and then he stop real quick and he turns, but now he's waiting on it. Like you're not passing it until he's fully turned and now sitting there waiting. It's like now nah, you gotta. Like, you got to know he's about to stop, throw it a, a slightly before he starts turning. So once he's there, he's catching that and turning. I think that happened once with uh, Michael Thomas, where if he would have – and if Hill would have anticipated it just a little bit more and threw it before he's fully turned and standing there waiting, Michael Thomas could have caught it, and I think he could have got a first down. But he ended up catching it, and by the time he caught it, the defender's right there tackling him. So it was basically for like – a like one yard game versus maybe a five yard game. So it's just slight stuff like that I think he could improve on. This game, I honestly wanted him to like rush a little bit more, bruh. 
You feel me? Like, I feel like he wasn't trying to take off as much as he could have because there was times where the pocket was open, but he was just standing back there kind of, like, looking. And and I know it's been those critics who, like, well, he needs to not try to run every time and this and that. I can, I, I can understand that. You feel me? You don't want to be antsy every time anything slight happens. You're just running out the pocket. But there was times in this game where I feel like he could have took off running a little bit more. You feel me? And got a first down or five, six yards versus taking a sack for 10 yards or trying to throw it out real quick and now it's intercepted or it's tipped and it's incomplete. You feel me? Like, I felt like he was more so just trying to stay in the pocket too much. Like, he, he most definitely could have got out there and rushed a little bit more, in my opinion. But, hold on, how many, uh, I want to see how many, how many rushing yards Taysom Hill had today. He had 33 rushing yards on five attempts. So he didn't really rush too, too much. Kamara had 50. Murray had 13. Thomas had 84 yards. Bro, how many did Jalen Hurts have? Jalen Hurts had 106 yards rushing. They said we, had, we hadn't given up a 100-yard rush, rush game in like, 55 games or something and then we did it today i'm like that's tough my guy and then we gave it up to two players because the running back got 115 and hertz got 106 on 18 attempts so hertz was out there running that thing coach like hill i just wish he would have he would he would have ran it a little bit more bro because then they got to look at you for that rushing threat and I, what was going on with our offensive line bro like i feel like hill was getting sacked so many times like what were they doing this week, bro? I feel like we've been playing better than that, for like for sure, bro. But either way, it is what it is. We took the L, chalk it up. Um, like I said, we play Kansas City next week. Y'all stay tuned for that. I'll probably come with this style video again as well. So if y'all do like this and want to, you know what I'm saying, see me do these style versus just the highlights. Because like I said, with the highlights, the copyright stuff be in the way. And it'd be like, it'd be doing a whole lot. So it's like with this, I can just sit here and talk to y'all a little bit back and forth with it. Um, and like I said, y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about how the Saints played this week. I ain't gonna say I like the fact we are lost because I feel like this is going to wake us up even more, especially rolling into the playoffs. But I still wish we could have pulled this one out. You feel me? But either way, Brad, it is what it is. Kansas City next week. Hopefully Drew Brees is back. We'll throw Taysom Hill back in that little gadget role and, and let him go crazy. Um, but either way, bro, it is what it is. 10 and 3. Stay tuned for next week. What time is that game? Hold on real quick before we get up out of here, bro. We played him at 425 on CBS. So the same time we played this week, so I should have had a video up about this same time. Either way, bro. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Like I said, y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about it. Let me know what y'all think we need to do going into next week against Kansas City. Because Patrick Mahomes, I don't think he's as much of a runner as Jalen Hurts was today. I don't think he'll be running that much, but Patrick Mahomes can still get up out that pocket. You feel me? We're going to need some type of containment. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But y'all get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought. Um, I don't really got too much else to say. We on the road to 15K subscribers, 18. Appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. Like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting a little here. Catch you on the next video.